Habitats talking to you guys today about water. So let's look at something. This is the job we're on doing a dry creek bed and this creek bed looks really dry. But let's come on down here a little bit more. Um, what I hope to show is how when I say water moves through the ground, that water really does move through the ground. You see this little bit of movement right here? Yep. Water is just pouring out of the ground. Now it's been almost a week since it's rained. And again, you can see, you see this little bit of glimmer right there. Um, here's the thing. Uh, if it doesn't rain for a month, streams keep on running. Why is that? Because there is water in the ground that runs through the ground and it comes up where a stream is. Heck, if, streams, if it doesn't rain for two months, streams still keep moving. And the reason why is that water moves through the ground. And where this is really important with a homeowner, when you see water in your basement or water in your crawl space, it's not necessarily water that's coming from outside of your house. In other words, all this looks dry. This looks perfectly fine. But once you cut a hole into the ground, this is what you see. So uh, just trying to educate y'all. And, you know, if we say, look, if we put drains outside of your house and it's not going to do any good, we're being completely honest with you um, and trying to help you out in that regard. Uh, so here we are up here. But this, their whole yard is very, very wet. Um, this is a chronic problem. The other week, it only rained about an inch. They said they had about four or five inches of rain a while ago. And this, it was running out here like crazy for a month. So uh, just to reiterate, we get so many calls from people that have water in their crawl space. And they obviously want to fix that problem. Um, and you can see that like there, the solution, the first solution is put gutters up and to get all this piped out, which it does, it, it runs out to here, but water moves through the ground, um, and it will express itself anywhere that you see, um, that there, there's a hole dug. I've seen this many, many times in the Auburn Opelika area. Um, there was one case, it was on, two, actually two cases on top of a hill, no, three cases. <laughs> where we dug a hole on top of a hill in perfectly sunny weather when it hadn't even rained. Um, two of them, I know it was during a drought, and by golly, water came out of the ground. And this was in the summertime when there's less water. Um, so just trying to educate y'all on some uh, hydraulic principles and let you know that uh, some problems are not always easily fixed, but we'll do our best to do it.